Assalamualaikum and very good day. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm Jalani Ismail, Principal Instructors of Institute Technology Petroleum Petronas in STEP, Terengganu, Malaysia. Uh, the author of this paper with the help of co-author, Professor Technology Dr. Saiful Bahri Muhammad from University Sultan Zainal Abidin, UNIZA, Malaysia and Dr. T.S. Alias Muhammad from University College, Tati, Malaysia. For your information, uh, INSTEP is a technical learning center established by Petronas to develop competent workforce for the oil and gas industry. Almost 40 years in operation, we have trained more than 14,000 skilled work workforce for Petronas and other oil and gas companies within Malaysia and more than 40 other countries. Our role is to sharpen technical competencies and produce job-ready technicians and engineers so that the industry will be enabled to operate efficiently. The title of my paper presentation today is Learning Experience of Missioning Carbon Fiber CFRPAL 2024 using design of experiment DOE approach. During the presentation, I will share with you the uh, objective of uh, the, <clears throat> the, uh, the outline of this particular uh, presentation. Number one is about the objective, then followed by introduction. We will discuss also on the experimental setup experimental setup, followed by result and discussion, and conclusion, and at the end, we'll be discuss about some recommendation, some recommendation. Right, the objective of this particular paper is number one, to share the learning experience in machining CFRP, aluminum 2024, then number two is to propose the general approach of implementing design of experiment, DOE, in machining to be embedded in TWEC. TWEC stands for Technical Vocational Education Training. Right, we move to the introduction. Yeah? Introduction. Uh, right now, TWEC is quite formula, uh, popular in Malaysia and also in other countries, right? So, uh, in terms of transformation of TVAC, it's not only to produce highly trained workforce to meet demand, but at the same time also, the TVAC must able to produce holistic manpower, and yet the quality of TVAC machining and curriculum need to be uh, enhanced or need to be maintained. Right. In order to do that, in order to do that, uh, this paper is. Um, propose to you to use the design of experiment methodology DOE part of the curriculum in TWEC. Yeah. So we propose that where the DOE design of experiment to be embedded in uh, in enhancing TWEC uh, machining curriculum. So in machining curriculum no longer uh, effort to do experiment in a try and error manner. And then the design of experiment DOE able to optimum parameters uh, and then facilitate in reducing machining cost and improve wing product quality. Right, now we move to the experimental setup. Uh, the material used for this experiment is carbon fiber reinforced plastic, CFRP, laminated with the aluminum grade 2024, AL2024. The layup sequence of the unidirectional uh, 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 un, uh, CFRP prepack was adopted to get uh, uh, symmetric stacking. Uh, the trimming process was done via Mori Seki NV4000. DCG CNC mini machine under dry cutting condition using uh, can metal KCN05 10mm cutting tool. 
down milling method was used to produce the optimal surface roughness. Each trimming process was conducted randomly to avoid systematic error. So we can see here in this slide, we start with marking, followed by fixing, C alignment, and then trimming. Then at the end, we have to measure the surface roughness of the component. So the surface roughness of the component or the product is measured by using Mitotoyo SJ301. This is the cutting parameters or machining parameters for trimming that we study from the past uh, project or uh, research, right? So cutting speed will be 10,000 to 13,500,000 RPM whereby the feed rate is between 500 to 1,000 millimeter per minute. Depth of cut will be 0 0.01 up to 0 0.50 uh, millimeter. This is, is basically the result by using the software. We are using full factory design with augmented design. This is the result after the machining. What I did. We carry out number of experience, sorry, number of experiments. The total number of experiments is uh, 15, yeah, 15 experimental number, right? That one, and then with combination of spin the speed, fit rate, and depth of cut, this is the parameters that we control to produce the roughness for CSRP and aluminum 2024. The material is one, but combined of two type of material, one is carbon fiber, another one is aluminum, it's a metal. So all the set of uh, set of the uh, the machining, uh, I mean the parameters is done by the by the computer, right? By the software, the OE software, and then after that we measure. This is the the, the measurement of the surface roughness after we run on the 19, yeah? 19. Uh, Experiment, yeah, 19 experiment. Okay, the, the basis is two power of three, got eight, and then we duplicate another eight, become uh, 16, and then we add three more so called center uh, point, yeah, center point. Then after that, we key in all the result in the software. The software come out with the analysis of variant, yeah? analysis of uh, analysis of variant, right. ANOVA is stand for analysis of variant for both CFRP and also later on I will show you for the aluminum 2024. <clears throat> First, we discuss about the ANOVA analysis of variant for surface roughness of CFRP, carbon fiber reinforced plastic. The model F value shown here 6.29 implies that the model is significant. F value is less than 0 0.05, which indicates that the model is significant. In the case of A, B, and B, C are significant in model terms. Okay, so A stand for spin the speed, B stand for fit rate, and C for the depth of cut. The analysis show that spin the speed and fit rate have significant effect on the surface roughness of CFRP. The depth of cut is no significant effect, but there is a significant interaction effect between fit rate and depth of cut. Now we move to analysis of variance produced by the software on the surface roughness aluminium 2024. The analysis of variance ANOVA for surface roughness of aluminium 2024 showed that the model F value of 4. Point, uh, 4.46 implies that the model is significant. P value less than 0 0.05 indicate that the model term are significant. Thus, P, depth of cut, and AB, spin speed and fit rate, are significant model term. The surface roughness of AL2024 was influenced by the in traction between spin the speed and fit of rate. The depth of cut has significant effect, but spin the speed 
and the feed rate are not significant. The ANOVA for the, this is ANOVA for the surface roughness of aluminium 2024. Now we move about the overlay plot. Yeah? Overlay plot for both CFRP and aluminium 2024. Overlay plot shown here, the graphical overview of the proposed factor settings with yellow shadow area meeting the target responses. Our target responses is initially is below than one micron surface roughness, but the yellow zone represent the zone of optimum responses from 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 micron with the setting 0 0.255 millimeter depth of card the range of spin speed for the presetting surface roughness value should be in between 120300 to 13500 RPM, and the feed rate should be approximately between 560 to 780 millimeter per minute. Next, so whatever result produced by the software using the mathematical, mathematical model, we need to validate either true and or not. So here we do, we take two HP, uh, two, uh, two running number here based on the graph and also mathematical model. We run two experiment here. First, by using spin the speed 11750, feed rate, 750 and that of cut 0 0.55. So we see the what is the predicted by the software. Predicted by software is 0 0.607, but actual when we machine and measure is 0 0.5, 0 0.594 for CRP. Then the error is about 2.20%. Based on engineering, error of less than 10% is acceptable. So same goes to the aluminium 2024. The error between the creditor and actual is 4.69. How to get the error? A percentage of the error? Eh? The projected value minus actual, then divided by actual time 100. So same goes to the second run of experiment. Then the average error Percentage for the element 2024 is 3.43, means that this model is uh, true. Right. So we come to the, uh, now we come to the conclusion. Yeah, we come to the conclusion right now. Number one, you can say that design of experiment, DOE, using full factor design methodology is the systematic way of setting optimum cutting parameters and able to analyze the significant interaction of control factor. Conclude that for the CFRP, influenced by interaction effect between feed rate and depth of cut. Meanwhile, for the aluminum 2024, is influenced by the interaction effect between spinner speed and the feed rate. So by implementing this method of employing statistical analysis of DOE, we will eliminate try and error, and hence we will significantly cut the cost, right? And the time in producing the intended product and achieving the desired learning outcome. This is our conclusion of this particular paper. Right, so come to the recommendation. We recommend this model of DOE in TV implementation, whereby there are two process here, three processes involved here, input, processes, and input. Under input, okay, we have cutting parameters, sorry, the preparation of materials, cutting to selection, and cutting parameters. Under process, we have machining process, data collection. Then for the input, we have interaction and significant effect optimization and we need to do validation we need to do validation this is the model of doe 
that we propose to be implemented in Tibet, at least at diploma level. So if you want to have a detail about this particular experience uh, or experiment, I already wrote a book, yeah, a book based on this particular project uh, named Down Milling Trimming Process Optimization for Carbon Fiber Reactor Plastic. Yeah, it published two, uh, last year, 2019, by Springer Singapore. You may refer to this book to get detail about this particular uh, project or experience. So thank you to all parties contributed to this particular research. Thank you for uh, to my co-authors. Thank you for watching.